Hey guys, Travis asked me for some pointers with Falcon mirrors. So I'm just going to kind of run down how I do it. I have a pretty high success rate um, with this strategy. Um, and it only requires a few ships to be remotely maxed out. So here's the first guy I'm going to hit. He's got pretty good Akbar. And then a standard Biggs. Seven star. And house two. So I'm going to drop this down because I know most people don't have them. So really, these are the only mandatory... Oops, let me lower there. Where'd he go? These are the only three like mandatory ships for this strategy. So I have a very fast Akbar, but it's not necessary he be faster than the other ship. It will help, but it's not necessary. Uh, nothing remarkable about my Falcon. It's pretty standard Houndstooth. What is important is that you have casting at least gear 11 because his maxed out special guarantees that his attack and the assist are both crits, which I'm going to want to guarantee that I one-shot their Falcon. I mean, I'm not even going to max out like these other abilities because that's really all he's useful for and occasionally stealthing or cleansing. Um, you can really put any other rebel ships in the other slots. It really doesn't matter. Um, I think Bistan would be the best here, but I know most people don't have that. So I'm just going to run with the more standard. Like, this is what most people would have, I think. You know, Ghost is probably my favorite after Cassian. Uh, or not Ghost, Phantom. But that's not necessary either. Pretty much anything would work. You could even put non-rebel ships in there if you wanted. But here we go. So... My primary goal when the turn opens is I want their Houndstooth to go before my Falcon because I want to cleanse Breach. And since my Falcon's faster, I need to do that on my first turn, which like I can't wait. So I'm actually going to use Falcon's second special to hit the other two targets, which feeds turn meter to their Houndstooth. So he uses his special. Now, this is actually the worst case scenario. So he used a special, so now I can cleanse the breach. Now, ideally, he would have used it on one of my other two targets. That way, my Houndstooth could get taunt up before their Akbar gets a turn. So this is the absolute worst case. Let's see what happens. Fine. See, nothing, no problem. Um, no sense breaching the Houndstooth, because he'll just cleanse it off of himself. So you notice I have no breach. Uh, it really doesn't matter what I'm doing right now. Um, that doesn't matter. It kind of sucks, but it really doesn't matter. Now, no breach, so when I bring in Cassian, there's no more taunt. I targeted Houndstooth because Falcon would have cleansed Biggs there. And now I just use his this special on Falcon. Falcon. Pew, pew. He's dead. I could basically auto it from here if I wanted to. So I'm going to shut up and just play out the rest of it. Until I cleansed Breach there again, because I really just don't want to be wasting turns on their Houndstooth. Since I lost, since I lost a ship, I'll bring in Phantom first so that I can get back to a full five before Akbar's ultimate is off cooldown. It doesn't really matter. Like really, I'd have to try to lose at this point. Love me some Wedge. Uh, Ghost is probably better, but I just, I maxed out Wedge thinking his special would be good. I'm like 95% certain it's bugged and that it does not ignore armor like it says it does. Um, I spent a while testing like damage numbers against different ships and it 
clearly fluctuates even with the same number of debuffs. So I just bring him out because I like him and it doesn't matter. And now it's really over. This is where having a faster Akbar is nice because, oh my God, I screwed that up. <laughs> it won't matter. Um, because I get the ultimate off first. But even if I hadn't, like, look at the three ships he has. Like, <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered at all. This is why Cassian's amazing. That second special of his is brutal. And if you get him out early, it'll be off cooldown right before Akbar's ultimate, which means you can use it two more times after his ultimate. So I'll uh, record my next battle too. Okay guys, here's <clears throat> my second attempt of the day. Uh, another pretty standard Akbar. This one's slower than mine again. So I stripped mods off of my Akbar so that he'll be slower. So just again, standard lineup, gold stars, Fusetas, whatever. So there's his 175. I took all the mods off of mine. So he should be 172. The exact same strategy applies though. I want them to use Breach. I want their Houndstooth to go before my Akbar goes. Um, that way I can cleanse the Breach on Akbar's first turn if I need to, and then I can call in Cassian, kill their Falcon, and then do whatever the fuck I want. All right, I haven't gone with a slower Akbar in a long time, so hopefully I don't fuck this up. Okay, so I need to do this move. First. It's been so long since I did this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I've had a faster act bar like forever. Okay, perfect. Except he hit my he hit my hound's tooth again. They usually don't target my hound's tooth. Whatever. So it was resisted, which doesn't really matter because I'm still gonna use Akbar's um, first special to heal up. Well, I don't really need to heal, but it's still nice to do because I don't want to risk you know, dying early because of that. I'm just gonna use, and the advantage buff can be nice. So I'm just gonna use it anyway. I can't target Biggs right now, so I can, otherwise I could kill him, but whatever, this is still gonna be a no-brainer win, I think. Like I said, that's been a, see, this is the downside, is that they get to call the reinforcement first. So things can go a little cattywampus before you get rolling, but again, boom, done. Now I can do whatever the fuck I want. And it's going to be kill this guy. And you see, other than that special that Cassian's ship has, he hits like a freaking wet noodle. And that's probably giving him too much credit. So, I mean, yeah, at this point, like, freaking <laughs> Ghost and Phantom are the scariest ships they have out. Like, ooh, big deal. Um, I'm actually going to use this on See I don't I don't want to use it on Hound's Tooth because I don't want to accidentally stealth him and I can't remember when his if his special isn't off cooldown then he'll stealth when Taunt expires so I don't want to risk it because he'll dispel himself on basic anyway so I'll just go over here in case I'm about to lose Taunt yeah see I did so that was the right call I'm gonna keep that outmaneuver buff up. Now I can just dispel him. Cassian ship is so underrated. Everyone should have it. And like G11 ing the pilots is not a bad thing to do because they're really useful in other places. Like, well, I guess they're not gonna be useful for territory battles much longer, but whatever. So you see, he's going to get his ultimate off first, but it won't matter because I'm going to... He has no scary ships out, so who cares? Ugh, so I'm going to kill him. Uh, what do we want to do? Why not bring out... I'll bring out ghosts this time for fun. I don't have very highly geared Phoenix. I should have shown that. Uh, my None of my Phoenix characters except for Hera and um, Ezra are higher than gear 9. Um, so you don't even need like a max geared Phoenix 
which no one should waste the gear to do that just for this like if you want a gear phoenix go for it but like don't do it for this um, oh my god he dashed it <laughs> whatever it won't matter he's gonna do his target lock ability and then he's gonna do a special and it won't matter they seem to target cassian too the ai which is really fortunate because even when the enemy calls in like their cassian they always kill my cassian and like after his intro move like you know he can still do some decent stuff but he's not important anymore so, uh, whatever yeah, see, Cassian's cooldowns are off again, which, oh, it's just so perfect. Anyway, so that's me deliberately being slower, and as you can see, it's still not a problem. Um, it is possible, if you have really bad luck, if Akbar targets um, Falcon on his open, and he calls Biggs and um, the Falcon, and they both crit, and then Biggs crits on his second attack, then you can lose your falcon early. But that's, you know, one in three of him calling those two. Maybe like a one in three of him targeting falcon. And then to get all three crits, so you're talking about one in three, one in three, and let's just say to get all three crits is like one in three again. So it's a one in 27. It's, you should be set. Okay, so one more fight I wanted to show you guys. This guy is the best non biston fleet on my shard. Um, I'm one faster than his Akbar, which is actually, he's the second fastest one, which is why I wasted so much gear on mine. All of his pilots are like just tops. Uh, I guess he doesn't have as many six top mods, but if you can beat someone without using Houndstooth, then you can save Houndstooth for either a Geo fleet or a uh, Bounty Hunter fleet to take out something else. So what I'm going to try to do is, without using my Biston again, because I know a lot of people don't have them. What's something someone might have that would be helpful? Everyone's got Ahsoka. She's got a Dispel. I mean, really, this is trivial, because like, I think the first two reinforcements are the only ones that matter. Um, yeah, no one uses Ahsoka for anything, so I'll just stick her there as my random 7th. Really, if you were doing Grand Arena, you'd leave it blank for the extra point. Um, usually, I leave both of these slots blank because I want the extra points and I don't need to call them, even if I have an opportunity to. Um, this should work. Again, very similar strat. Um, this time, though, since I'm starting with uh, three Rebels, I can use... Uh, Han's little outmaneuverability first, which means I don't have to worry about him being targeted at all, but I still want to draw out the breach from Hound's Tooth before my Akbar's turn. And it missed. I'm going to go ahead and heal him up because I just I don't want to lose a ship this early. It, it can still work. Yeah, that sucks. So, <laughs> come back from worse. <laughs> we'll see. Um,. So I'm targeting Biggs first because if Houndstooth loses Taunt from me hitting him first and then I hit Biggs second, then he gets bonus turn meter. Um, and then I risk him taking an extra turn. I'm kind of playing with fire using this composition because you now this guy, this guy's Falcon can survive this because he's ma fully maxed. Yeah, you see I needed the, the extra assist. Um, it's still usually okay. All right, now it's going to be an easy roll. So yeah, like I said, the benefit of this is that now I still have Houndstooth in reserve for another um, team on uh, offense, which is super helpful so that I can take out... I'm not going to be able to take out another MILF squad, but I can take out pretty much anything other than the, like... Uh, Mace Windu timeout fleets with my what I have not brought here and those are so rare like you hardly ever see those anywhere so that's not even worth like being concerned about this is what I like to do in a grand arena though is I'll save my hound's tooth for defense and then use something I use Bistan of course instead of this but you get the point 
<laughs> Again, having a faster Akbar in this situation is much more highly recommended because I, yeah, it's just, since I'm already handicapping myself, I don't need to make things any harder than they already are. Just can't attack that ghost because he's been cloaked this whole time. I don't know why I would do that instead of killing the other. <laughs> I guess I was just trying to kill the rebel ships. But, yeah. So, another easy peasy win. I'm gonna strut here. Boom, go Ahsoka. <laughs> I haven't used her in forever. Anyway. One more for fun. Uh, this guy has a really strong fleet, too. Um, I'm just gonna use my, uh, my Biston. Um, there's still, I mean, it's not like a huge amount better. This is the fleet that it would be so much better with. Like you would drop, you would drop it like that. And then this is like solid for taking out fleets that have hounds tooth. I only have two attempts left and I don't know who that go bucks guy is. I don't want to leave this out. Um, but this is a. This is pretty solid. Um, what we're gonna do though is bye bye. Yeah, knocked Biggs out. Um, mostly because I don't know when the defense is gonna call him to reinforce, and I don't really want him coming in because he's not really gonna contribute. But it's who cares? You lose on defense if the other guy knows what he's doing anyway. So we'll just go with this team. Sorry I'm whispering, um, everyone in the house is sleeping, and we're sleep training a one-year-old, so I really don't want her, uh, oh, so I don't want her waking up. So in this case, since I have Biston, and it's faster than any Akbar can possibly be, at least until G13, um, I'm going to use Han's wiggle move first. Now, this ability feeds turn meter to someone, so if he feeds it to my, um, Houndstooth, and I get Taunt up, yay. If he feeds it to Falcon, then I'll attack their bigs, and then their Houndstooth will go. You get the point. Like, I just need to hit someone on their team before my capital ship goes so that I can cleanse. Sorry, I need their Houndstooth to go first. So that did everything. He gave full turn meter to my whole team, and it drew out his breach, which I can cleanse now very easily. I could have even used my special there to cleanse it, or my basic to cleanse it if I wanted to, but um, I want Taunt, because um, stealth will wear off eventually for Biston. Oh, it's not like he still is taunted. I guess it really doesn't matter what you do there. Another good thing about this team is, oh my god. <laughs> this is it. Sometimes it just doesn't even matter what you do, and you still win. can't say I'd recommend people going and like gearing up the pilots for Biston's U-Wing because they're torture to gear up. Um, I only did it because my favorite mode in this game is Grand Arena and being able to run three rebel ships or full rebels right and your offense frees up Houndstooth for defense which is always good. Um, nothing better to do. Do the auto. I just can't watch the AI be that stupid. Uh, he's immune to target lock. Um, I wouldn't mind uncloaking you. Ah, whatever. Um, lots of options here. None of them are great. What I want to do is. Uh, who fucking cares? Oh, he dodged. That little bitch. I know he has, like, bonus evasion when there's other rebels out, but I seem to be getting unlucky with dodges. There's no breach, but there's no dispel. But even then, I'm gonna get these crit chance down, so, because they're hurting me. Ugh, still no crits. Okay. So, why don't we make sure he dies? The extra buffs for the extra damage. He's gone. 
The ghost still pr hits pretty hard, but without Falcon to cleanse the protection up on your houndstooth, you really can't lose. Not getting the best RNG this time. I'm not getting a lot of assists, and I'm not getting a lot of crits. But again, that just shows the strength of, or the lack of RNG dependence in winning, and that like, like nothing's going my way this battle, and I'm still gonna win easily. So I'm gonna get the armor penetration up going. Wants to do more damage. Oh, that came off cooldown first. Is it Biston feeds a lot of turn meter to your team, so my Cassian got an extra turn than what he usually gets. Not that I'm complaining. He's got Breach. You have Breach. Yeah, now I don't need to dispel, so we'll do that instead. That 63k hit was from Biston, so he hits hard. <laughs> He's stealth and actually crits. Anyway, that's my main team uh, for Arena. Uh, bonus footage.